Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. I'm always like, is it me you're looking for? No, it's not. Okay. Anyways, hi, guys. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. We are back to talk about Jax Taylor, Catherine Dennis, and more everything in between. We're not going to really get off of the very path over here. So we're going to kind of break it all down. Actually, I've had four shots of espresso, but I need more. I'm like sitting here with eye drops. I have soda water. I have my blooming. And I'm like, you know what the fuck I don't have is coffee. So a bitch gets a little mad when she needs her coffee. Okay. That was very performative. Anyways, smash that like button. Show some love. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. By the way, I was just kidding about the other stuff, kind of, um, except for the coffee. Let's jump right into it. Here we go. All right, guys, so we have to start with the Jax Taylor's bar of it all because apparently it's been flooded with bad reviews for barely edible food and terrible service. Mm, not good. So patron of Jax Taylor's new bar, Jax's Studio City, have been leaving negative reviews about the food and service via Yelp. Since opening the Los Angeles-based sports bar in October of 2023, the Valley Star has been, I guess you can say, on the receiving end of plenty of frustrated comments from guests. Terrible service. Waited over two hours for food. Never got it, but all the sections did. Didn't even receive an apology for the terrible service is what one person wrote. Hmm. Okay. Everyone was so rude. We were so disappointed. We had left after 10 minutes and we'll never go back. Definitely need to hire better people to represent your bar. Not a good look. Never had such a horrible experience is what another person left with a one-star rating. Absolutely everything sucked from food to staff to space to the owner. I will never be returning is what a third unhappy customer wrote. I hate to leave bad reviews, but I have to be honest, this place was not good. I didn't even have high expectations after word of mouth. The food was barely edible besides the pretzel. Do yourself a favor and stay away from the sliders, the beer cheese, or the nacho cheese. I actually don't even think either were cheese, but um, the wine pours were decent is what they added. Oh, my God. Okay. Interesting. Many users also claim that the bar is sometimes randomly closed, so it's difficult to predict when they'll be open. I've tried to go here four times, and they're never open. Or it will say that they're open at 8 p.m., and when we show up for a drink, they're closed. It's very strange. However, the bar did re receive several five-star reviews from customers who received better service and drinks than other patrons, obviously. Great food, great vibe, and strong cocktails, just the way it should be. Service here is solid. We waited only a few minutes for cocktails, and food came out under 12 minutes. It was a pleasant experience, and I would recommend this any day, is what one customer wrote, leaving a five-star review. Been here twice, and I enjoyed it both times. Never too crowded, good drinks, and food, and very friendly staff, is what another user said. We had the best time at Jax's. The drinks were great, with lots of choices and heavy pours, and... Uh, a bunch of the cast from the Valley were there and were so friendly and excited to hang out with everybody. The space is very cool with lots of seating and plenty of staff, you know, like taking drink orders, et cetera. We can't wait to go back is what another person said. Okay. Okay. We're getting the good reviews. This whole staff was so accommodating and friendly, came back twice in one day on vacation, and we'll come back again. Ambiance was amazing, and food was amazing. But listen, reps for Jax Taylor and the bar did not immediately respond to Page Six's request for comment, but Jax Taylor recently faced backlash when a video circulated circulated of himself and his wife um, changing Sun Cruz's diaper on the food prep area of the bar. The U.S. Sun later reported that people complained to the Department of Public Health and that they have since launched an investigation. Mm -mm -mm. You fucked up, Jax. Can't be changing babies on the bar. Before I get to the rest of it, I do have to play the clip for you really quick. Hold on. You guys know I do. Bye, wig, hello, drama. Here we go. 
go do that. But like, I kind of wish I would have just been like, all right, this is, you know, not a good situation for me. I'm going to like exit. Yeah. I really, I mean, I thought it was great for you to step in because I, I it wasn't very clear or maybe that how aggressive Zach speaks to Janet. You were, you were right there. Were you? Right yeah, I was like right in the booth right behind. Yeah, just sitting, well, sitting right there. <laughs> you came up because he was rolling his eyes and doing some pretty aggressive, like... While like, you were trying to talk to him and, and, you know, kind of maybe, who knows, like make up to some extent or something. Yeah. He just wasn't in, the, in that zone for it no. at all. He had, I think he had made up his mind before showing up that like, I'm not making it up. I'm going to... This is the finale. Yeah. I'm going to go out. I mean, he literally blazing. said that in his uh, with making pottery with Jasmine. He was, she's like, "Where well, are you gonna have a conversation?" He's like, "You better believe it." Like he was just like, <laughs> "Gonna." <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and obviously, I had a reaction to him. I call, I think I called him trash and a loser. But just needs to say to each other to wrap it up. Go do that. But like, I kind of wish I would have just been like, "All right, this is you know not a good situation for me. I'm gonna like exit." Yeah. I really, I mean, I thought it was great for you to step in because I, I it wasn't very clear or maybe that how aggressive Zach speaks to Janet. You were, you were right there. Were you? Right yeah, I was in, right in the booth us? right behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. just sitting. Next. Which normally, to be honest. Wait a minute. I know that you guys saw this. It seems like Billy Lee stopped talking to Tom Sano. I did a whole video on this this morning. Because his girlfriend, Victoria, Billy claims that Sandoval started drinking for Victoria and is living in a mess with drugs around, etc. Billy says that Victoria and Sandoval would sleep all day and Victoria reads all of Sandoval's texts. Mm. Mm-hmm. Jackie claims that Margaret asked her and Jen Fessler to quit Real Housewives of New Jersey if Teresa's husband, Louie, came back for season 14. She said there were already tensions from things that happened before we even started filming filming. And I think when people don't know that they think that I just came in and had an agenda. My friendship with Margaret started to hit a rough patch. I think Margaret wanted, if Lou is coming back to the show, she wanted me and Jen Fessler to not come back to the show, but I'm sorry, was Margaret going to quit? No. So I've actually (laughs) talked, I've actually talked to Margaret and that's absolutely not true. Really? Because Jen Fessler even confirms it. What happened was, okay, go ahead. What happened was, and I think the first episode, maybe you saw me saying to Margaret, I told you if you don't want to be around these people again, neither will I, Jen F. told the outlet. And what I meant by that was, if you're not going to go back to do the show again, then I won't go back and do it again either. Yeah. So um, Jen, Jen Fesser told Margaret, if you don't go back, I won't go back. And I understand how you feel. Margaret didn't ask them to quit for her. Jen said that to her. She never even spoke to Jackie because at that point, Jackie was a friend and she didn't even know she was coming back. Jackie claims that Margaret asked her and Jen Fessler to quit Real Housewives mm. of New Jersey. There Last but not least. Um, tensions from things that happened before the season even started filming. And I think when people don't know that, they think that I just came in and had an agenda. And that's not at all the case. Um, my friendship with Margaret started to hit a rough patch well before filming started. And things happened. Um that uh, already set the stage for us to, you know, Margaret expected a level of loyalty that I just think was above and beyond to be asked of me. Okay. And I think that um, it's it began the breakdown of our friendship. And is that loyalty in particular about how you started to get a little bit closer with Jennifer Aiden and Teresa or loyalty just kind of with every- No, because I of... hadn't gotten okay. close yeah. with them un- until, you know, what you didn't see on camera is Teresa and I, did speak at Jen Fessler's party and it was more like small talk, but I think we both left Jen Fessler's birthday party being like, huh, that was pleasant. Like there were already um, tensions from things. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are about all of this, especially the Jax Taylor bad reviews. Guys, go ahead. Pop up in the comment section, please. Let me know what you think. Smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.